Hey friends, how you doing? Today is September 1st and you know what that means? That there's a brand new Close to My Heart book out. Actually two brand new Close to My Heart books. There's the core catalog that is good for an entire year and there's the new small idea book which is good for September and October and we're getting close to fall and lots of cute fall things in the book, in the mini book. So I am going to film a walkthrough and show you all the things. They're amazing. Believe me. Hi friends. How's everyone doing? I am going to do a walkthrough of the two new Close to My Heart books. This one is the September-October issue. And this one is the Core Products book, which is September through August of next year. So let's start with the mini one. It's got a lot of fun things. We'll just walk through it really quick. This is the Craft with Heart scrapbooking area and Craft with Heart card making. These are subscription plans that you can get monthly. You can choose how often you want them and each kit that you get comes with everything to make what's in it. So it looks like they're, uh, they changed the way they did the subscription. So it looks like it's every four months there's a new kit. This is the current kit if you decide to describe whether it's scrapbooking or whether it's card making. This is amazing. I'll share the papers with you another time, but this is the pumpkin spice work or kits that they have. Fall is my favorite time of the year. I love the color so much. So you can get just papers. You can get papers with stickers. You can get coordinating cardstock. These are wood stickers. These are digital art. So you can buy this and use it as cut, cut files in your silhouette or your Cricut. And these are the picture my life cards. I know a lot of people like doing pocket scrapbooking. These are amazing for small projects cards, multiple things. So this set is, love the colors. This <clears throat> is a pumpkin spice card making stamp. Again, they say card or they say scrapbook, but they intermix however you choose to create with them. So this is pumpkins. When you get the stamp sets, you can choose between just the stamp or you can also buy the set that has the thin cuts that go with them. And the books, I don't know if you can tell, but this is dimensional. It looks a little bit. So if they have this color around them, that lighter tone, that means there's a thin cut that coordinates with that stamp. This is the Pumpkin Spice scrapbooking stamp. Same thing, you can buy just the stamp or the stamp set with the thin cuts. This is the scrapbooking workbook workshops. So you can buy an entire set to make three two-page layouts. It has everything you need to make the pages except for like glues and a few little maybe pens, markers, but glues. Comes with Sometimes it comes with stamps, sometimes it doesn't, but you can buy the kits with the memory pages or without if you have your own. There's also a card making workshop that you can use to make 16 um, cards, four of each design. It includes everything you need in the set except for inks, glue, those type of things. This is Christmas, holly and ivy. The colors are amazing. I love traditional Christmas colors, but they've added some of these other tones also. So again, you can buy just the paper. You can buy the paper with the matching stickers. You can get coordinating cardstock. This one right here has some die cut shapes, digital art collection, 
and picture my life cards that are amazing. These are some of the Christmas stamps. Love, love, love this one. Holly and Ivy. This is card making. This is scrapbooking, which still would make amazing cards. They cross over and coordinate with everything. This is the Holly and Ivy scrapbooking workshops. Aren't they amazing? I love the colors. Holly and Ivy card making workshop. They're just fun. Little ornaments and tree cuts. This one comes with some thin cuts to cut these shapes out after you've stamped them. So that is a lot of fun. Each little book also includes a mix-in paper packet and mix-in coordinating cardstock. So all of these papers and cardstock coordinate with the two featured kits in the book. Isn't that cute how they've used all of these different papers and made that fun scrapbook page? So many things you can make. Love these clusters. They're all stamped and cut out. I love it so much. A World of Octobers. Love that saying. This is the um, Anne of Green Gables sayings that she always said. I'm so glad I live in a world where there are our Octobers. So am I, Anne. So am I. Love fall. Love the colors. Love the pumpkins. Love the squash. Everything about fall. They have these fun little... Uh, Bestie stamps and this book they're featuring holidays like Halloween so their costumes the little sets again if you look through the book you can choose just the stamp or you can get the stamp with the thin cut sets you can use them on cards you can use them on these fun look at these scrapbook pages that, that they've got going on here and then there's boys also Halloween buddies so there's four different boy sets that you can use to decorate pages also or create other Halloween projects. We Love Fall. This is a sentiment set with all kinds of fun like pumpkin everything, sweet cider, scented candles and rainy days, chunky sweaters, warm blankets, crackling fireplace, hot cocoa, football games, feathering, family gatherings, so much fun. This is called Hunting Dad Stamp. It's a lot about hunting, but it doesn't necessarily have to be about hunting. Like, oh dear, it's your birthday, you old buck. Love this one a lot. It's fun. Here's a card example up here in the book. Here's a small little stamp that's the Horn of Plenty. That you can get the stamp and the thumb cut. Here's Fall, Autumn is Calling. These are small little M size stamps. Isn't this fun? Pumpkin treats. Are you into pumpkin donuts, pumpkin pie, pumpkin little drinks, pumpkin latte, whatever you drink, hot tea. Super cute. Here's some Christmas ones. Furry Merry Christmas. That's really cute. Good Greetings, Peace and Love Stamp, Farm Fresh Christmas. This is really cool with about a Christmas tree, Santa stop here, milk and cookies, holiday special, focuses on more Christmas. These are border stamps that you can also get with the thin cuts. I love these a lot, these Jubilee border stamps and thin cuts. See how they've done cards, little borders. This this would be really cute on uh, scrapbooking pages also. These are fun little airmail, North Pole stamps, Santa's airmail. This is greetings with the lines that you can create. Fun little postcards or letters with some of the stamps. Funny Secret Santa. I love these. These are like tag stamps. That's what I would use them for. It's probably a 
tags. Lots of fun stuff. Christmas calories don't count. I wish. Best gift ever, if I say so myself. It was either this or socks. Also, tag under the tree stamp. This is fun tags that you can um, add to your gifts. Small little M size stamps. Ho, 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 and Merry Christmas. And Close to My Heart has had this series all year. So there's a stamp a month. Here's the September and here's the October themed stamps. September's got a school theme and October's got the harvest and Halloween theme. You can make all kinds. They've made a list. A little perpetual list here calendars scrapbook pages cards so many things also close to my heart is um, has the slim line celebration it's amazing slim line cards seem to be the thing right now but this is a focus on the slim lines and so these die cuts there's the star cluster and the circle cluster are um they fit a three they're approximately three by eight inches so that they can cut out if you look at this card you can see the stars so it is great for a slim line card and then there's these mini garden gnomes which this little stamp features those mini garden gnomes there's also the fishy greetings, thoughtful critters, and these are all sentiments. Look at these big sl slimline stamp sentiments. I love them. They're big, so they'll fit on the slimline card. And if you love, you can buy all these separate, or if you really love it a lot, it says here somewhere, I think, it may not show it on here, it's on the website, you can get this as a big set on the website. You can buy a bundle. These are a few thin cuts, this Merry Christmas, and they also have these little shakers to make shaker cards, mini peppermints, and autumn loose sequins to make fun little shaker cards and the stamp of the month for September is grateful for this life and October is wildflower friendship with a little hedgehog a fox and an owl and their part of their body are these cute little flowers isn't that cute also there's a new project smile or i guess it's called operation smile stamp it's new and all these sayings are about smiles like i'm still wearing the smile that you gave me gave me a smile is a curve that sets everything straight and a percentage of these stamps go to operation smile Close to my heart is a huge contributor to Operation Smile, and there's information at my website. So I'm going to stop this video, and then I'll record the core catalog with all the new amazing stuff, too. Okay, I'm back to show you the new core catalog that's good September through August 2022. Lots of fun stuff in here. I went through it briefly, so we're kind of going through this together. Ideas of getting started. There's a starter kit. This is new, which includes some scrapbooking pages, glue, pen, and a binder for your scrapbooking. There's also a card making starter kit. We talked about these in the last book, the subscriptions for kits for card making and scrapbooking. Close to my heart has these amazing idea books. They're so exciting because they have patterns in them that tell you exactly the dimensions of what you want to cut. 
So if you like this little card, you can look for the map in the book and it'll tell you all the dimensions of cutting and how to put together. There's pages for scrapbooking. It looks like these are eight and a half by 11 pages, which I've seen on Instagram that it's kind of a thing coming back the smaller instead of 12 by 12 more people are starting to do the eight and a half by 11 pages again so we they have one two three four five make it from your heart and i love them they're awesome books when i make cards i use the page map to not always but quite often just for ideas and there's so many things you can do with it. So Melissa Esplin, this is not new, but there's penmanship and brush lettering books with supplies on how to do your lettering. We have our story by Stacy packages, and these two kits are good all year. So this one is As You Grow. It's kind of a baby theme, sort of. I don't see baby in any of it and I wouldn't use it for baby because I don't have babies but the colors are really pretty and I love the various plaids and ginghams they're so fun and these tiny little flowers mushrooms butterflies leaves ferns it just like the the smaller books they you can get just the paper you can get stickers you can get the coordinating cardstock you can get picture my life cards this is the other one it's called smarty pants it's not a cute page it's kind of a school themed package but again there's a lot of papers that you can use that don't have anything to do with school everything coordinates this is one that I love. It's called Love Story. And you can do different colors. Like this one's black and white. Look at that. You can get the black and white with stickers. You can get this one right here is the color mink. And coordinating stickers. You can get this color, which is toffee. Toffee is more of a craft color. And coordinating stickers. There's also Picture My Life cards, or there's a bundle that includes all three of those sets as a bundle. We have the wood grain paper. This is new textures. It looks like denim, maybe concrete, some woven like burlap. I'm not sure what that is, some kind of grain brick, and this looks like basket weave for papers. Ooh, that's cute with the, the wood grains that hurt. They're so fun. Noteworthy is a new one, which is like note and graph paper and also a sheet of music. This is a rose gold foil pattern paper. I just ordered this. I haven't got it yet, but that's going to be pretty. Here's some more clusters. I love that they've been adding clusters. I've just started getting into clusters, which I use ephemera, but I really like the idea of being able to stamp and make fun stamped clusters. In a book stamp, all about reading. This is fa our family stamps, family circus, love you most. This is love story, um, which could be used for scrapbooking or card making. I say this every time, any stamp really is for card making and or scrapbooking or any project that you're working on, whether it's mini journals, clusters, cards, project my life anything you can do so much with the stamps love story card making heartfelt wreath that's really pretty different wreaths you can cut out rustic sign sentiments it seems like the farmhouse style is still in so 
there's just a lot of these rustic fun stamp sets and papers as you grow that's cute talks about baby or as you grow you can do themed pages festive borders this one's a little bit different than the one that was in the the other one was holiday this is festive like birthdays and etc this is the newest gnome stamp it's called party gnomes it's so fun i just made a card using it which i will share on a different post probably on instagram it's super fun these are the slimline uh, stamps so that you can make slimline tall cards so this is happy cake day and this is ooh la la macaroons here's some more buddies that the other book had halloween themed these are just everyday themed sports gaming your pet out and about with the skateboard pizza whatever those are really cute that they've got the boy themed buddies now here's the girl themed buddies uh best friend this is olivia lucy kelsey different themes for the besties here's a smarty pants stamp these are really fun for scrapbooking bravo you can't spell awesome without me. That's an awesome statement. I really like this. This is called the date stamp stamp. It has a die cut with a library card and this pocket die. And then it's got all these numbers and months and a few little words here that you can stamp on this. And I can see using this for so many things. For all occasions. This has, like it says, all occasions on it. This is perfectly in perfect patterns. So these are little pattern stamps that you can add to. Like this one, they've stamped these little dotty patterns. Looks like this one and this one. Back behind some of their images and die cuts. This one also, see that one, that birthday one, it's got some of those imperfect patterns stamped also. Embroidered borders, embroidered circles, embroidered card front. That is cute. That is so fun too. So many things. This is fun. I love these map your journey they have canada australia and the u.s isn't that fun with all the different states on them as you're traveling or do travel pages you can like it says map your journey great stuff there there's a whole bunch of different alphabet stamps so many all kinds of fun little styles I, th it highlighted these in the front of the book, but here's the Melissa Esplin uh, info a little bit more where you can learn brush lettering or penmanship and it's got the pens that she recommends, um, tracing paper, and different bundles too of her product. It's a lot of fun for practicing and learning brush lettering and just penmanship. Stacy Julian is a big part of Close to My Heart and if you know who she is, she is a storyteller. So she's got amazing story by Stacy products through Close to My Heart. Look at all these clusters, more clusters. And these are made using all these new die cuts. So there's cupcakes, there's gift tags, there's backpacks there's purses this is a waterfall die cut this is a spinner this spins with a little spinner so you can stamp words and it goes through this little window here so you can spin 
make a spinner card. There's buildable tags, tabs, tags and dies. These thin cuts are amazing. Layered flowers. That's a big set there. Small bows. These are slim line dies, which are awesome. So you get your circle windows, square windows, shaker windows. This one is a dot slim line and a heart slim line. So that awesome? I love that big shaker window. Wouldn't that be fun to have a slim line shaker? These are new uh, shaker windows also. This one right here is a curved rectangle and this one is a curved oval frame. But they include the acetate and foam packages to make shaker windows. So there's the die and then the acetate and window foam sold separate, separately that coordinate with the window die cut or thin cuts. Close to my heart calls them thin cuts. I have a bad habit of calling them die cuts, but it's the same thing. Their terminology is thin cuts. We still have the stars and we have the circles for shaker cards. Heart. Squares, rectangles, all you can use them just for the shapes, and you can also make uh, shaker cards. We have new alphabet numbers and alphas in the thin cuts. Those look awesome. So you can just cut out using your thin cuts and alphabets. Different words, just because, congrats, sending hugs, love you, and these are different brackets. So this is stitched fancy brackets. We have circles, and this is an embossing folder. It's called botanical embossing folder. We have, these are specialty papers, and these are all glitter sheets of paper where you get three sheets and this has the new colors on it we also have the holographic paper we have pearl paper foil and foil papers and it looks like they have a glitter paper bundle where you get a pack or three of all the glitter colors and their glitter paper is heavy and amazing This is the craft paper that's available, watercolor paper, vellum paper, tracing paper. We sell pack value packs of cards and envelopes. So there's the standard card and the slimline card. And let me tell you, that's a good value of, you can get 20 slimline card bases and envelopes for $9.95. And you can get 50 I think they're A4. Is that the technical number for them? Four and a quarter by five and a half. You can get 50 card bases and envelopes for $16.95. Amazing. You can't even buy your cardstock separate and envelopes separate and make your own cards, bases, and envelopes for that price. Amazing. There's the perpetual calendars bases that you can get. Here's the fun stuff. We have shimmer trim. See that shimmer trim? We have the silver and gold threads, and these are all loose, like sequins and glitter type things that work perfect for the shaker cards. Look at this page. You get a sneak peek of some fun stuff over on this page. But I love the shimmer trim. I use that a lot. These are all embellishments, everything from beads to more shaker stuff to these are dots and flowers and glitter dots, clear sparkles. These are all acrylic shapes. So there's all these shapes you can get in black.
If you hear that squeaking, it's my husband doing the hose because he's getting ready to power wash the house. <laughs> There's watercolor pencils, colored pencils, brushes, and paints that you can use. Embossing, embossing pens, pads, heating, all kinds of embossing stuff. Markers. These are the tri-blend markers. So all of this stuff is part of the dry or the tri-blend markers that you can get. These are the metallic element markers. Journaling pens. So if you like super fine 0 0.01, 0 0.03, 0 0.05, my favorite is the 0.03. It's what I use the most. We now have Le Pen which are a point three pens. So not only do we have black, we now have color. These are three pack of white gel pens. We also have all these amazing colors of shimmer brush brushes. If you haven't used a shimmer brush, you have to get them, they're amazing. We also now have glitter glues, liquid pearls, glitter gels, glitter glue bundles, distress oxide inks, these colors that they've contracted with uh, Ranger inks coordinate with a lot of the close to my heart colors. So these are the featured colors you can get. There's also this gloss sprays, which a lot of those colors also coordinate. There's the little um, blending tools also and foam covers that work great with the Distress Oxides. There's texture pastes, so much stuff. And these are all stencil packs that are available. Some of them are in bundles and some of them are just individual. So. You just have to look through them and see what you like, but they're stencils, and these are big, 12 by 12 sheets. These are smaller, 5 by 6 and a half, that would probably work great with cards, but these also work great with cards, but you can also stencil a 12 by 12 scrapbook page with these larger ones. Let's see, this shows you our clear acrylic blocks. So when you put a stamp and ink it, you can see exactly where you're stamping when you use the clear acrylic blocks and stamps. These are the little chamois that you just wet and clean your stamps when you're done. We have three types of black ink. And uh, re-inker. This is a spritz cleaner that you can buy. We have paper trimmers. Close to my heart, scissors are the best. I use these for practically everything. And I use these for all of my fussy cutting because they're small and the, they're the best. We also have this all-purpose mat, which you can blend your inks, paints, whatever on, and then just wipe it clean with water. We have our own die cutting and embossing machine, which I don't have yet, but everybody says it is so amazing and the sides fold up so it takes up a lot less space in your craft room. And that craft room real estate is worth a lot. So there's all kinds of tools on here. Glues, we have glue dots, we have different adhesive runners, liquid glues, glue tapes, little glue pen. These are the foam. These are rolls of foam, some thick, some thin, and same with the dots. Some thick, some thin. We now have sheets of adhesive, so if you have something large you want to adhere down you get five sheets of 12 by 12 sheets of adhesive this is your our workspace wonder so you can organize your desktop for re-inkers ink pads pens ribbons they're all in pieces over here 
and they're stackable. You can put papers so you have everything all organized in your craft space. There's also these great organizers. So if you buy a lot of the mini AMSI stamps, there's a container that fit those perfect for storage and they're stackable on shelves. The regular stamp organizers there's craft jars that you can put your um, sequins and stuff in. See the, how they've got them stacked here? There's paint. See how they've just used these nice containers for organizing and storage. And it keeps the space so clean and tidy. And if you're an organized freak like me, believe me, they are fabulous. There's heat transfer vinyl metallic and glitter heat transfer vinyl this is new there's a digital art bundle you can buy the bundle or you can get one cut file which i believe are a dollar each so this has january through december and then some more cut files but if you want the entire bundle you could do that too um, there's different kinds of albums. There's the D-Ring album and there's the post-bound album for scrapbooking and they have extra supplies here for separators, extra posts if you need to adjust your book. I prefer the ring binders but a lot of scrapbookers prefer the post binders. So we have both. So whatever you prefer you can get. We have other size albums. There's, besides 12 by 12, there's eight and a half by 11, six by eight, and six by six albums of various colors. We have our six by six story by Stacy, because you know, Stacy's our storyteller. There's various inserts for your scrapbook. So if you like to pocket, use pocket cards there's five different pocket page cards and there's a different three different styles of the 12 by 12 pages and there's six by eight insert six by eight that are split this one's in there's four per page and then a six by six insert. So last year for my December daily, I did a six by six album and bought these six by six inserts so that they were all inserted in, protected in the binder. It was so much fun to get a little binder and do that. There's also um, half sheets. So if you just want a small little flip page between your other two large pages like you have extra photos and you just really want to highlight a few more photos with your two main pages you can get some of these smaller uh, pages to add more photos we also have all these size flip flaps and I don't know if you're familiar with flip flaps but after you insert your page into your protectors, you can, these have a sticky edge and you can stick them on the protector in multiple layers and flip them to add more photos. So this one right here, this flip flop would flip over this picture so that you can see probably on the other side of photo, a pay, uh, little card she put in there and then the main photo so these are all flip flaps attached to these pages they're really fun for multiple photos that you want to add to your main pages so this is the color of the year close to my heart always has one color that they um, use for the year and this year it's wild berry so they have like shimmer brushes sequins acrylic dots, shimmer tape, ribbon, cardstock, ink, everything that matches that color of the year. And it will be featured in a lot of the kits in the books. And these are our colors. They retired, I think eight, I'm not sure, 
eight colors. So let's see, the new colors that they added, of course, is the wild berry, but we also have papaya, mulberry, capri, harbor, which is kind of a greenish blue, and a shortbread, mocha. So this is a little bit a more chocolatey brown. We've always had this espresso, which is super popular, but this one's a little more chocolatey. And then we have the wild berry and we have brand new this year, black cord, black cardstock. So if you're not familiar with close to my cart cardstock, it has a white core. So when you tear it, I'm gonna grab a page just a second. So this color right here is sapphire blue, and I'm just going to tear the edge so you can get an idea. Our cardstock has a dark side and a little bit lighter side per color. So the darker side is the main color and the lighter side is just a little light, lighter version of all the colors that are like that. But it's white cord, so if you tear the cardstock, see how it's got that white core, which is the best thing ever I can't tell you how much I love having that white core so when you're creating cards scrapbook pages whatever it really adds an element to your creation with that white core and it's seriously one of the huge reasons I became a close to my heart maker is the colors the white cord paper which I'm not sure of anybody else that has this and their clear acrylic stamps are the best for stamping and so but this year they not only do they have the white core black but they've added a black that is black all the way through no white core so that's new you can buy the cardstock cardstock stamps and re-inkers as individual colors if you want but you can also on the web page order custom paper packs so you can get either a 12 sheet pack or a 24 sheet pack and you can choose the colors that you want so if you want two sheets of desert rose two sheets of peach one sheet of papaya, one sheet of flamingo, two sheets of raspberry, two sheets of wild berry. You choose. You don't have to buy a big um, pack of cardstock. There's 24 sheets per each color. You can buy custom packs for the same price and choose the colors that you need the most of that you're going to do a project and you know you need five colors you can choose those five and get as many copies or pages as you want so that's it that is the new court catalog and all of the stuff most of the stuff is ab available on the website right now. Sometimes right at the beginning of a brand new book, some of the die cuts or products may not be quite in yet, but I think that most of it's expected by the middle of this month. Um, it just happens. Production, trying to get all the product in time. It, sometimes we don't. But most everything is available, and if you have any questions, message me, because there's just so much fun and so many possibilities for all the fabulous products that you can create. Have a great day. I'll post some information below with links on where to see these, the product, the new books, and a few other things. See you later.